Merry Christmas, everybody! From the dogger! Welcome to the Beat a Good Dogger Christmas Day special. I know it's not Christmas fully around the world just yet. It's still Christmas Eve over in America, but it is Christmas morning here in good old Australia. Thought we'd do something special for this very special day today. Decided to show off all of my Christmas presents as well as to thank everybody who watches. So, let's grab some presents right now. And let's open them for you to see what I've got. Let's begin with this one. It's a CD of some sort. Open it up. What do we have here? Well, well, if it isn't the original 1988 CD of ACDC's Blow Up Your Video Album. As identified by its rather simple looking plastic, or I should say clear coloured disc and original album code that was used for the CD. Just thought I'd let you know the majority of these presents I actually bought myself, but not all of them were. That's the first one. What do we have here? It looks like it's another CD of some sort. Let's open this one, shall we? Ah, yes. I don't show these very often. This is, of course, a copy of the 1978 fucking Dutch radio broadcast. And I just accidentally let a swear go. My mistake. <laughs> this is... I do have a set of the uh, radio broadcasts featuring ACDC from over the years, but I've never shown them off on the channel. But this is one that I have now. It's a reasonable performance. I have heard it here on YouTube a couple of times. Or at least once, actually. Anyway, that's that one. And this looks like another CD, so... I'm just put this in the rubbish bag. Alright, on to the next one now. <clears throat> this... <laughs> this is so hilarious. Ugh. Is the original 1992 CD release of ACDC Live. I'm sure 29 years ago many fans would have opened this up as a Christmas present for the first time. Unless they were too enthusiastic and immediately bought it home and played it straight away. Anyway, this has the original slip case. And we pull that out and show the actual CD itself. And of course on the back here. And let's see, we've got the original disc as well. The original Australian release used the picture disc-ish design before they were replaced with generic black CDs at some point. Definitely a bit of a rare item, that one. I've not seen very many of these around, but I had to get it. And now I do. Right, put that aside. Put this in the bin. Rubbish bag, whatever I've got here. And I've got another what looks like a CD as well. This one's from my sister. This is a recent reissue of Cold Chisel's 2003 Ringside album. Deluxe edition with two CDs and one DVD. With a completely different front cover by the looks of things. It looks fairly good. CD1 there. Okay, I see a booklet in there as well. Let's have a look at that as well. Why not? Vintage pictures of Jimmy Barnes and Ian Moss right there. Sorry, my arms are very tired. Oops, did I skip a bit? No, I did not. Okay. 
you know, still the original line of Chisel at that point before Steve Presswich had passed away in early 2011. It's, and we have the disc two and the DVD here as well. Excellent. Now let's put this away in here and put that there. All right, got a much smaller, smaller item now. This looks like it's a tape. And sure enough, it will be. What we have here is the original 1975 cassette of John Paul Young's debut album, Hero. Of course, you may have seen the original LP of this recently, if you're a regular viewer on the Be A Good Dogger channel. Got some, some, of, some of the best songs he recorded. Let's have a look at the J card, as some people refer to it as. Probably some of his best songs were on this album, actually. This must have been one of the very first to include the uh, cassette care because it is not present on the high voltage that was released the same year. So they must have only just started printing that on there. And we've got the original cassette itself, paper labels. Again, stupid focus on this stupid iPad, I tell you. Uh, not even on Christmas Day does this iPad want to focus properly when I try to show off the cassette. That is just so annoying, but can only afford so much as it is. Spend it all on my hobby, which is pretty much what you're seeing right now. Okay, we have another cassette tape here. Oops, I've already started opening it. <laughs> this is Jimmy Barnes' solo album debut from 1984, Body Swerve. I did show off a copy of this earlier this year, but this is a different copy. This one has printed gold text on a black cassette shell. Not like the original one that I showed off in my cassette collection video, which was black text on a white cassette shell. This album isn't too bad, but personally, I prefer Jimmy Barnes with Cold Chisel. I just bought this because I felt like it and because I didn't have that particular version. Alright, on to the next one now. This one is from my mother. This, <coughs> excuse me. This is from about 20 years ago, this particular TV series. I don't know how many of you in Australia have seen this. Long way to the top. Stories of Australian New Zealand rock and roll. This was aired about 20 years ago or so now. My dad did record the fourth episode of this on VHS back when it first aired, but for some reason he accidentally taped over it. But hey, we all make mistakes. Speaking of my dad, unfortunately he isn't very well at the moment. He's actually in hospital at the moment after accidentally breaking his leg this past Wednesday. So for those in the comments that wish to wish him well, go ahead. Hopefully he'll be back sometime soon. Anyway, here's the first disc with the first three episodes of the series. And the other one, which has the other three episodes. As I said, episode four was the one that my dad had previously recorded on VHS, but then accidentally taped over it. Which is a right royal shame, but as I said, we're all human, we all make mistakes. <clears throat> I think I must be... Uh, I don't know. All right, what have we got here? If I can just put this rubbish in the bag. What have we got here? This looks like something much heavier. 
This is also from my mother battle settings. <sighs> ah. A biography on the Angels former frontman Doc Neeson. Written by John Bradshaw and Ann Souter. The Life and Times of Aussie Rock Legend Doc Neeson. Mm. Well, any Australian fans watching this who are fans of the Angels will definitely want to read this one. Hopefully Peter from the Lizard King channel will hopefully get this if he does. And if he can, if he does get it, hopefully he'll do a review of it. But I honestly don't know if he has gotten that for Christmas. <clears throat> oh, I think I must be coming down with yet another something. <coughs> Oh dear, oh dear, must be stress time again. Anyway, we've got something else here. Whatever this is. It is. Look at this. It's the Beatles original 1968 Australian single, Hey Jude. And of course, it's flip side, Revolution. Two of my favourite Beatles songs. Again, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you may have seen my collection of Beatles singles and stuff. And this was one that I didn't have until just now. And why not? Because it is a very good song. Oh, we've got some bigger packages here. Let's grab that. Oh, I always make a mess on Christmas time. And I need a drink. And no, I'm not drinking alcohol. I do not drink, for the record. I have water with me right now. Even if, if, if I was a drinker, I would still wait until 10 o'clock. Anyway, this is a, a vinyl by the looks of things. Ugh, the iPad's gonna fall. I'm gonna keep it on this damn box and it's just gonna fall. There's gonna be so many bloopers going on here. Come on, out you come. Ugh, it's the original Australian pressing of the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour and other splendid hits, as it's titled. <laughs> of course, it's one of the pictures from the original EP booklet. And a crazy, weird 1960s. Rear sleeve. And of course, they use the American spelling of colour. It's C O L O U R, damn it. <laughs> All right, so let's pull out the vinyl. World Record Club label. I'm sure plenty of Beatles fans, especially here in Australia, have seen this label. For those who aren't, well, this is what it was released on originally. Oh, I think I've got about two more to go here. This video is going to be a lot longer than I thought. Let's grab this and we'll put this in the rubbish bag as well. Mm. Mm, pardon me. Oh, here we've got another one. This one's also from my sister. She can only afford just generic grey wrapping paper. Which is a shame though, but we're from a poor family, unfortunately. And this is the LP version of the Ringside reissue, which actually uses the original front cover for some reason. I don't know why the CD version didn't, but hey, it looks better. No, three. Yes, no, it's three LPs, yeah. Ugh, so many LPs. Ugh, this is gonna be a long one. Let's look at the... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and we've got the LP itself. And 
side two. This isn't the full thing though, I think this is only just the cut down version. Because the original double CD, you probably fit onto maybe six vinyls or maybe eight even. <laughs> so anyway, this is the second one. Again, a brilliant picture. Jimmy Barnes and Ian Moss having a good time, and why not? The more good times, the better. So this is side three. And side four. <sighs> All right, put that there. And we've got this one as well. All the rest of the information here. <clears throat> okay, side five. Only four songs. Yeah, well, I think they were stretching Bo River out for about ten minutes at that point. <laughs> and side six. As always, Chisel usually play an admixture of their own songs and the occasional cover here and there. Oh, that's always the way. Well, that's pretty much all music related, the majority of these. But this last present is for those who watch my race, racing car videos. When I play Gran Turismo and stuff. This is so huge, I don't think you'll be able to get a good look at it. But I'll do what I can to unwrap it from here. Oh, look at that. It's a Holden scoreboard digital clock. Look at that. That is huge. This is a present from mum and dad. For those who, of course, watch my racing car videos, you know that I absolutely hate Fords. And I love me Holdens. Oh, look at that. Let's have a look on the back, shall we? Look at this. That's what it's going to look like. Isn't it a beauty, huh? I'm sure everyone would love this if they were a Holden fan. It just kind of sucks that Holden practically no longer exists anymore. Oh. Man, this is heavy. Oh, that is... Every present I've gotten this year. Oh, put all this wrapping paper in the rubbish bag. Well, that is it, I guess. But I would like to say thank you very much for everybody over the last year who's been supporting my channel and have found this channel since... I started making videos last year. I want to say thank you to those who are regular viewers. First, I want to say thank you to Dark Tower Fan 13 who's probably my most loyal follower. Thank you very much for your wonderful comments every time. It makes me very happy when you're here. And I want to say thank you massively to my long time, forever, on again, off again, lovely best friend, the wonderful Kayla Gostinian. I swear, you've given me some good times to go through this year. We've had our ups and downs. We've had arguments. We've had silly moments. But you and your kind heart has got me through some very bad times this year, especially very recently. What with the 22nd of December being one of the worst days on record. My poor dad in hospital with a broken leg makes me want to cry my heart out all the time, but I've got to be strong. Because it's just me and my mum here at the moment. My sister's not here because of potential COVID-19. Oh, that is just horrible. But thank you so much, Kayla. You are a wonderful woman. You will always be my best friend forever. And I want to say thank you to Brody Atwood, another regular commenter. 
I'm definitely happy when you comment. You say some good things, man. Hope you're having a good time. And Peter from the Lizard King channel. Be sure to have a good Christmas too, mate. You and your family. Even though you live in bloody New South Wales. I mean, I'm a Queenslander, all right? <laughs> Born and bred. And for the rest of you, including MCZ Blaze, aka my good friend Eric, who also is a regular viewer here, unless things are preoccupying him, hope you also have a wonderful Christmas as well. And for everybody else who doesn't comment but does watch these videos, I want to say thank you all for your continued support and helping the Be A Good Doggy YouTube channel grow over the last year or so. But I guess that's everything now. Until next time, potentially next year, this is the dog saying have a wonderful Christmas, everybody. Do not drink too much. Do not cause any fights whatsoever. Because there's nothing worse than fighting on Christmas Day. And I should know because I've had a, a few of them in the past. Peace, love and harmony to all your families. And we shall see you again.